Michael Jeffrey Jordan and Charles Barkley used to be the best of friends in the NBA. When you saw them on the court, they would joke with each other. They would compete hard. But you can tell they loved each other. They golfed together. When you had the dream team, you saw them together. I've seen them on Oprah Winfrey together. But now these men have not spoken in years. Why not? Because Charles Barkley has a job in the media. And part of Charles Barkley's uh, brand is that he calls it like he sees it. And if you don't like it, fuck you. Quit being sensitive. And so Charles Barkley's boy, Michael Jeffrey Jordan, was the former owner of the Charlotte Hornets. And old Charles had some critiques about some of the things Mike was doing. And Mike ain't like that. And they falling out. That shit got me to wondering, y'all, what will happen to Deion Sanders' many media relationships? Now that he's a head coach on a bigger stage now, the Colorado Buffaloes. And now you got some of his homeboys who are in the media, who now they got to choose whether or not to do their job and critique what they see. Or just to be loyal to the homie. Let's talk about it momentarily. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some Again, hit that subscribe button. Share, share, share. Hit that like button. Put all your people on it. Join the channel if you choose to. Follow me across all social media uh, platforms, in particular on Instagram. I'm trying to get up to 40,000 followers, okay? I think I'm at 34, something like that. You know what I'm talking about? So go ahead and get me up to to 40 okay uh and put all your people on the shadows uh share the shit and spread the word okay but yes y'all know that Deion Sanders in Colorado is coming off of an epic fail uh total collapse against uh a bad Stanford team ain't no way to goddamn beat around the bush it's a bad Stanford team they lost to a FCS team they are FBS team okay that shit ain't supposed to happen you're a Pac-12 team you're not supposed to be losing to Sacramento State okay but they did and Colorado was up to uh, up 29 and nothing on them, okay? And then totally, totally collapsed in the second half, okay? And so I put up a poll, okay, on both YouTube and on Twitter, okay? And basically, what I asked y'all was this, okay? I said... How will big sports media cover the massive meltdown by Colorado versus Stanford? Okay. On YouTube, I had 143 people vote in this poll. 78% said they were going to make excuses. Excuse me. Only 22% said that they were going to uh, engage in real analysis, okay? I also put that poll up on Twitter, and it was similar results, okay? Y'all, we were wrong. We were wrong, because I had agreed with y'all, and we were wrong. They're taking one by one. Um... Stephen A. Smith called the performance pathetic. 
But it seemed like most of his ire went towards the players, particularly Shadur Sanders. He was like, you know, basically, I'm, I'm making a long story short. Man, yo, yo, pops did this and that. That wasn't you. You got to do this. Prime responded to that and said, he's right. And let's move on. I don't know how to take that, though, because I don't trust Stephen A. Smith. And I ain't got a reason to trust Prime either, given, you know, how things transpired with Jack State. So I don't know. Them motherfuckers might have some wink, wink moment. Like, yeah, go ahead and get on them, man. They need to see. They need to see the media critique. They need to see what it looks like the other side of this. They are getting all this praise and shit. They're getting to see the good side of my life, but they ain't getting to see how uh, the media came down on me and all that kind of st stuff, all them bullets that I took back in the gap, metaphorically speaking. Uh, uh, so, yeah, get them. Might have been some of that at play. I don't know. But Stephen A. did say that. Prime's boy, Michael Irvin, said something. Basically, that I was saying that he was shocked that Colorado lost that game, particularly by having a wide receiver go off on them like that. Because it's the GOAT cornerback. And he brought up an instance of. Uh, when Prime was with San Francisco, you know, for that one year, that 94 year, and, uh, you know, they played the Cowboys. Mike said he had great numbers, but that, you know, you know, they, hell, they lost the game, though. So, 49 went on to win the Super Bowl. And he said that Prime, this is his words, now, I don't know how true this is, but he said that Prime really had a big hand in the defensive game plan, which was, okay, we're not going to put Prime on Michael Irvin the whole game. We gonna put him. We gonna mix it up to keep Michael Irvin guessing, and we're gonna put Prime on the second receiver and roll coverage towards Michael Irvin, and that's gonna make the third receiver have to make plays. So Michael Irvin was like, he thought that's what they were gonna do uh, to the young man from Stanford who were going ham, cause he the one that went ham, single handedly dismantled them. Okay, so he, he voiced publicly that he was kind of shocked that that didn't happen. And now, uh, seeing what just transpired with Michael Irvin putting his own son on blast, he put his own son on blast uh, recently for not being about that life that he put in there out in his raps. His son is a rapper called what T Tarantino or something like that. He said it makes sense. Say, say like Michael Irvin might if you want to put your own child on blast, much as he love Prime, now it makes sense that he said that. Keyshawn Johnson wasn't going there though. But the person who went in the most was the same person. Who was right there with Deion Sanders when he was sending all them damn shots at Jackson University? And that is Shannon Shaw. Shannon Shaw on one of his new properties, uh, this show he got with uh, Chad Ojo Cinco, also known as Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson, Chad Ojo Cinco, call the man what he want to be called. Chad Ojo Cinco was trying to let Prime make it. Shannon Sharp wasn't having that shit. Shannon Sharp said all them penalties that, that Colorado had, he said they come from a lack of discipline. And before he said it, he, he said he knew he was going to catch flack. He said they come from a lack of discipline. Well, who he calling out then? When you say it's a lack of discipline, who that mean? That mean the coaches. The head coach. He also was highly critical. Highly critical. Of Travis Hunter playing all them goddamn snaps coming off of that injury he was coming off of. Well, that's coaching too. 
So we were wrong. Those of y'all that voted in that poll and say they're gonna make excuses, it some did, some did, some did. But that there was much more analysis than we thought. So I'm wondering, man, are his relationships gonna survive this? Cause see, see, this the thing, see. Everything was just roses at Jackson State. They, they, they weren't, they really weren't even doing segments on them like that for real, for real. When he was at Jack State, all of them doing segments. Now can make more money because the white folk gonna pay attention, and also more black people paying attention. Oh, uh, but now the spotlight is bigger, and when you have a debacle like that, what they they gotta say something, and they got comment sections too. They got comment sections too. And maybe they reading them and maybe they were like, man, fuck this shit. I'm going to be, maybe some folks saying they own his dick too much. I don't know. For some reason, they were willing to, to, to offer some criticism. Maybe it was some personal journalistic integrity. I don't know. Hard for me to say that when I seen some of the other shit they be saying. But maybe so. But it was interesting. But it made me think about Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley and how they fell out. Now, uh, Shannon Sharp says before uh, Prime went to Colorado, they used to talk two to three times a week. Now, I don't know if that has stopped. I don't know if Prime going over there and giving comfort to Skip Bayless, you know, to my helping Skip Bayless in this moment of uh, uh, stress for Skip Bayless, losing Shannon Sharp. You know, tell me, you know, now Prime might be doing that to, to help Michael Irvin, but she. Prime also went on there and told Skip Bayless, you're a good man. You get a bad rap, you're a good man. You give a lot of folks like us a, a, a chance when other folks won't. I did a segment on that. Go back and check that shit out. I don't know. Maybe that relationship is strained. I don't know. But whatever the case is, Shannon Sharp offered some damn criticism. And I'm wondering, eh, how this shit going to go? How will this go? Because this is a new dynamic. Now these guys, whether it be Michael Irvin, Keyshawn Johnson, Shannon Shaw, they got to talk about somebody who they cool with. When they talking about all these players who are currently in the game and they getting out on them, all these young boys. So when they be calling them sensitive and all that kind of shit, ain't no repercussion. They don't know them. They ain't cool with them. They ain't woo -woo. And their uh, colleagues in terms of uh, the guys who they played against, man, they partners ain't got no goddamn gigs like that. Like who else from their era? Who else from the nineties got one of these? Uh, uh, a nineties football player. Who else got one of these big time jobs? Other than Deion Sanders. That 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 is part of their circle. He the only one. So now they forced into a, a position where, okay, either do your job or protect the homie. And we're going to see. You have some more goddamn games like that going forward. And if they give a scathing critique, you know, Prime keeps the receipts that he be telling you. He, he keeps receipts on all these folks that be saying something now. He was calling the reporters out. Do you believe now? No, I read that bullshit. I read that bull. He didn't say bullshit. That bull junkie roll. Yeah, I skimmed through that. Well, now you got to listen to what Mike and uh, Shannon said. Mm, no, we shall see. Put it on something. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.